free calculus, module 1, equation of a circle. Example number 4. Find the equation of the circle whose center is at the origin and tangent to the line 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Now, before we're going to find the equation of the circle, let us illustrate first the given problem. We have a circle and the center at the point of origin. Therefore, the coordinates of the center are 0 and 0. And a line tangent to the circle is 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. And the point of intersection of the circle and the line is what we call point of tangent C. Now, to solve this problem, we need to find first the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle is the directed distance from the line 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. We need to write the equation of the line in general form, which is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. And use the directed distance formula from a point to a line to find the radius. And the formula is the absolute value of a x sub 1 plus b y sub 1 plus c all over the square root of a squared plus b squared where the coordinates x sub 1 and y sub 1 is the center of the circle. We will now solve the radius of the circle using the directed distance formula from a point to a line. Given a tangent line 3x plus 2y is equal to 12, but we need to rewrite this equation to its general form. In rewriting this, we need to add both sides of our equation by the additive inverse of the constant term. Since the constant term is positive 12, so we will add both sides of our equation by negative 12. So as you can see, negative 12 on the left side and we add negative 12 on the right side. And simplify this, we have 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. And this is now the general form of the line. Now, identify the values of a, b, and c. So your a is a coefficient of x, which is 3. And your b is a coefficient of y, which is 2. And the constant is negative 12. While the center of the circle is a point of origin with the coordinates 0 and 0. So therefore, we have x sub 1 is equal to 0 and y sub 1 is equal to 0. Solution. From the given formula of the radius, substitute the values of a, b, c. So you have observed that your a is 3. We substitute the value of a and the value of a. We substitute the values of b. The value of b is 2 and 2, while the value of c is negative 12. So we have now r is equal to the absolute value, the absolute value of 3x sub 1 plus 2y sub 1 minus 12 all over 
the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. Then we will substitute the values or the coordinates of the center. The values of x sub 1 and y sub 1 which, which are 0 and 0. So the absolute value of 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 12 all over the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. Simplify. So we have the absolute value of 0 plus 0 minus 12 all over the square root of 3 squared which is 9 and 2 squared which is 4. Then simplify the absolute value of negative 12 over the square root of 13. So since the numerator is an absolute value, so always remember the result of an absolute value is always positive. Therefore, the radius is positive 12 over the square root of 13. And that is the radius of the circle. Since we already have the center and the radius of the circle, we can now find the equation of the circle. But what equation are we going to use? Since the center of the circle is at the origin, we will use x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And substitute the value of r, which is 12 over the square root of 13. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 12 over the square root of 13 squared. Now we will distribute the exponent to both numerator and denominator. So we will obtain x squared plus y squared is equal to 12 squared over the square root of 13 squared. Then simplify the right side of the equation. Since 12 squared is equal to 144, while the square root of 13 squared is equal to 13. Why? Because you have observed that the exponent is 2 and we have a square root sign. Therefore, we can cancel the radical sign and the expression inside will remain. So we have now the equation of the circle. x squared plus y squared is equal to 144 over 13. Example number five. This is an example of a real life situation involving circle. A sprinkle waters a circular area that has a diameter of 20 feet. The sprinkler is located 25 feet north of the house. If the house is located at the origin, what is the equation of the circle of area that is watered? So, the location of the sprinkler is the center at the coordinates 0 and 25. The diameter is 20 feet. Now, this problem, since we already have the given diameter, which is 20 feet, and the location of the sprinkler, which is the center with the coordinates 0 and 25. First, we need to find the radius of the circle. So the radius is one half of the diameter. since the diameter is 20 feet. So therefore, one half of 20 feet is 10 feet. And this is now the radius of the circle. 
since we already have the center of the circle, which is located at the coordinates 0, 25, so our h is 0 and k is 25, while the radius is 10 feet. Now, we will use this equation to find the equation of the circle. Now, substitute the values of h, k, and r. So, by substituting the values, we have the quantity x minus 0 squared plus the quantity y minus 25 squared is equal to 10 squared. Then, simplify each terms. We have x squared plus the quantity of y minus 25 squared is equal to 100. So this is now the equation of the circle of the area that is watered. Challenge problem. Identify the center and radius of the circle. So this is now the equation of the circle. 3x squared plus 3y squared is equal to 27. Okay, let us check your work. Since the given equation of the circle is 3x squared plus 3y squared is equal to 27, you have observed that both x squared and y squared have the same numerical coefficients. Now, we will divide all terms by 3. So we have 3x squared over 3 plus 3y squared over 3 is equal to 27 over 3. Then simplify, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So you have observed we have now an equation of the circle in standard form. Now, what is the center and what is the radius of the circle? Now, rewriting this to x squared plus y squared is equal to, since we all know that 9 is a perfect square, and we can rewrite this as an exponential form, and the equivalent exponential form of 9 is 3 squared. So from this equation, we can now find the center and radius of the circle. So since it is in the form of x squared plus y squared, it is expected that the center is at the origin. So we have the coordinates of 0 and 0. While the radius, what is the value of r? And the r is 3 units. So the center at the origin and the radius is 3 units. That's all.